Hare Krishna devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All goes to Shri Prabhupada. We welcome devotees to our Thursday morning Bhagavatam class. This morning, we are fortunate to have His Holiness Chandramala Swami from Slovenia giving the class, and he will be speaking on Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 4, Verse 19. It's the continuation of the topic of the appearance of Sri Narada Muni. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. I uh, love Mataji, my obeisance is to you. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Maharaj, it's all yours. Okay. Uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Chatrahotram karma sudam prajanam viksavaidikam vyagadat yajatanta santayai veda ekam chaturvedam translation <clears throat> he this refers to Vyasadeva he saw that the sacrifice mentions in the Vedas were means by which the people's occupation could be purified. And to simplify the process, he divided the one Veda into four in order to expand them among men. <clears throat> Formerly, there was only one Veda <clears throat> of the name Yajur and the four divisions of sacrifice were there specifically mentioned. But to make them more easily performable, the Vedas were divided into four divisions of sacrifice just to purify the occupation of the four orders. Above the four Vedas, namely Rik, Yajur, Sama, and Atharva, there are the Puranas, Mahabharata, Samhitas, etc., which are known as the fifth Veda. Srila Vyasadeva and his many disciples were all historical personalities. And they were very kind and sympathetic, sympathetic towards the fallen souls of this age of Kali. As such, the Puranas and Mahabharata were made from related historical facts, which explained the teachings of the four Vedas. There is no point in doubting the authority of the Puranas and the Mahabharata <clears throat> as part and parcels of the Vedas. In the Chandogya Upanishad 7.1.4, the Puranas and Mahabharata, generally known as the histories, are mentioned as the fifth Veda. According to Jiva Goswami, Srila Jiva Goswami, that is the way of ascertaining the respective values of the revealed scriptures. Omagyan Timiram Dasya Giranjana Sarakaya. Chaksu and Militam Yenatas, my Sri Guru Venamaha, Sri Chaitanya Mano Bistam Stapitam Yenabutale, Swayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dadati Swam Kadati Kam. Jai Sri Krishna, Nama Om Vishnu Padai, Krishna Pustaya Butale, Sri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine, Namaste, sir, Swati Devi Gaudavani Pacharine Nirvasesa Sunyavari Pasyatya De Sutarine Panchakalpa Turubischa Kripa Sindhu Piebacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadada Rasivasati Gaur Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. So this describes the um, way that a learned personality thinks in terms of time, place, and candidate. Uh, people in this age, and this is the age of Kali, it is the fourth of the four ages and is considered to be the age where spiritual understanding, spiritual ability to understand, spirituality in general, 
has lost its focus in the lives of people. People are not qualified, nor can they understand scriptural knowledge, especially and particularly the four Vedas. In this age, it describes people's characteristics. Apayeno, Vyasa, Kalon, Yoge, Jimin, Janaha, Manda, Sumanda, Mateo, Manyabhagya, Upadukaha. In this age, this Iron Age of Kali, people are misguided, unlucky, uh, and Upadutaha means always disturbed, not inclined to spirituality. Economic development or economic gain, not even development, but just gain, and uh, enjoying the senses has become the focus of this age. <clears throat> Therefore, people are, don't have any real interest in the higher goal of life, or you might say, the actual goal of life, which is Atatu Brahma Jagyasa, to inquire <clears throat> into the nature of the absolute truth. <clears throat> the Vedas <clears throat> are the means by which people can understand higher knowledge. All Vedic knowledge, uh, or we might say, all knowledge is coming from the Vedas. Any knowledge that you find in the world today is an offshoot, a branch of, or a broken part of the Vedas. Because knowledge was one thousands and thousands of years ago, it was the Vedas, and the world was under one rule, using one particular king would rule the world. Just like this planet is called Bar Varsha. Varsha means island or a tract of land. And Bart refers to King Bart, who was the emperor of the world at that particular time. Uh, <clears throat> Lilavati Varsha is another name for this planet. <clears throat> and it refers to that rule during that particular historical time. <clears throat> now we have the world is divided into these little places called countries, providences, cities, and so many other divisions. Everything has become divided up. And so people are not <clears throat> connected to any kind of real spiritual knowledge. And whatever spiritual knowledge people have, it's usually mixed in with the desire for sense gratification, artha, kama, dhamma, and moksha. People perform spirituality in order to get material gain. Mm -hmm. And the Vedas, especially Srimad Bhagavatam, which is one of the Puranas, it's called the Amalam Puranam. It's the Pranam that is the best of all Puranas. It's above all the three modes. It's completely transcendental. It's Krishna himself in transcendental sound decries the idea of religion as a means for worldly gain. In the second verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Dharma projito kaitavo paramanyamatsaranam satam. So this, this kaitavo, the word kaitavo means cheating. That there are many cheating religious processes out there that attract people to worship the principle of the Supreme in order to further or to what we say gain material success, material things. Now this is the feature in life now. That's why you find very few people can come to uh, pure devotional service because it's not about uh, and economic gain or material sense gratification. It's about awakening our love for Krishna, which is actually the goal of life. 
Knowledge leads to austerity, austerity leads to bhakti, and bhakti is the goal. So the Vedas are the principles of knowledge which teach both austerity and bhakti. So the Vedas were known as Shruti, formerly. That was another name for the Vedas. It's actually the secondary name, and still, in some remote places in the world, they refer to the Vedas as the Shrutis. Even if there's one chapter in the 10th Ketra of Srimad Bhagavatam, the Shrutis glorify you know, the process of devotional service. So Shruti really means Vedas, and also it has another meaning. It means um, the process of hearing. So prior to the, you know, the advent of Kali Yuga, people were more, what we say, equipped with abilities to hear, inclinations to hear, and especially the ability to remember. In fact, many people who were in the Brahminical status, they, would, they, couldn't, they wouldn't be able to forget anything they ever heard. They had the recall of hearing any, of remembering everything they heard and be able to repeat it verbatim. But that, because of the age of Kali, everything has gone down. So in this age, four things are less, people's memory are less, people's um, uh, bodily strength is less, people's mercy less, and people's duration of life is less. So these four things, bodily strength, mercy, duration of life, and memory, are all reduced simply by this age of Kali. Therefore, Veda Vyas, he is also called Veda Vyas, wrote down the Vedic scriptures, but he divided, divided the four Vedas uh, into, he divided the one Veda, as it's mentioned here, the Yajur Veda, into four Vedas in order to purify, as it mentions here, people's occupations, and that is the Varnashram system. And then it's also mentioned here that there, the fifth Veda is the supporting Veda for the four Vedas, and that is the Mahabharata, the Itihasas. Now, the Itihasas are given particular a focus here. Itihasas means the histories. Now, Vedic history is not like the history we uh, are exposed to in today's secular world, where you go to some classroom and they give you a set of uh, historical events about something that has no meaning at all to your life. <laughs> and it doesn't really teach you anything el else except that maybe, maybe this is the way something happened. It's also conjecture and speculation. The real history was that only outstanding events would be recorded within the historical context. And those things which were fundamental or what we say educational were given historical references. Not, you know, all this stuff that we hear today in terms of, you know, George Washington, you know, the American history. George Washington cut down a cherry tree and he felt bad about it. <laughs> so, I mean, what does that have to do? And then the lives of the debauchees, you know, these, these people who we hear about in today's historical uh, uh, explanations, are, they don't have any good qualities. They can't lead people. They're just kings who were degraded, you know, King George VIII in London, in England, and so many other of these degraded personalities. But here in the, in the actual Itihasas, the histories, it supports the knowledge of the Vedas by giving reference to historical events that were outstanding, which supported these particular philosophical and spiritual teachings. <clears throat> and then you have, of course, 
you also have uh, the Puranas. There are 18 Puranas, three for people in the mode of ignorance, three, I'm sorry, six for people in the mode of ignorance, six for people in the mode of passion, six for people in the mode of goodness. And then you have Amalam Puranam, which is Srimad Bhagavatam, which we are reading from right now, which is that Purana that is meant for the highest form of understanding the absolute truth, and that is pure devotional service. Uh, and it teaches that based on the principle of Harinam Sankirtan being the highest form of spiritual activity. So um, these Puranas, they're supportive of the main Vedas, and the Prabhupada actually says in, in one part, they are above the Vedas. So what does that mean, they are above the Vedas? It means that no one can understand the Vedic knowledge. So in order to get Vedic knowledge now, we usually generally go to the Shmitis. The Shrutis, which are, the Vedas are divided into Shruti and Smriti. Shruti means the four Vedas plus um, the, the Upanishads. They're the, they're the, that's the essence of the Shrutis. The Shmitis are Bhagavad Gita, the Puranas, the Itihasas, and many other the supplementary Vedic literatures, which are more relevant and understandable and give the essence of the Vedas in what we say a way that it includes a large amount of information. For instance, the Puranas can raise people who are in the mode of ignorance up to the mode of passion, can raise people in the mode of passion to the mode of goodness, and can elevate people who are in the mode of goodness to transcendence. That's why when Krishna was speaking to Arjuna, he said to Arjuna, be situated in goodness, because from there you can go to transcendence. So the Vedas are not easy to understand. I mean, you may be able to get Vedic literature in forms of written text, but you'll find yourself you know, wondering what is being said because it requires a lot of study and a lot of reference before you can actually break through or you may not even be able to because of the, the language that's used. The language is a lot of times comparative as opposed to direct. When you get comparative knowledge and you have to understand what it's being compared to. So these are the Vedas, and there's so much, you know, there. And as it's mentioned, that all the books that we find in the world today, both secular knowledge and spiritual knowledge, has somehow or other been, has come from the Vedas, you know, broken off into the Vedas, and become something different, given a different label, a different title. So back to the essence, the essence is that Shruti, Shruti means hearing, that if we want to make advancement in spiritual life, and obviously that is our goal, we have to hear regularly from knowledge that is pure, and we have to hear from those who are qualified to speak such knowledge. Srila Prabhupada has transformed the Shruti into written form in our, in our Krishna conscious process. I mean, Veda Vyas also. But what is the point is that Prabhupada took what the previous teachers, the Acharyas, have gone before, along with the knowledge given in the Vedas. And he has distilled that knowledge in such a way that it's more easily understandable by people in the age of Kali, because in this age, there's not much brain substance. People's brain substance has been lost because of too much sense gratification. The more sense gratification a person has, the more their intelligence becomes diminished. 
they can't think clearly, they can't reason, they can't uh, understand so easily. And of course, they forget. Even if they do have something in mind, they forget very easily. Well, this is the, but if we constantly, and this is word constantly is not a, uh, an optional word, I'm using this in a very direct way, constantly stay in contact with transcendental sound vibration. And that is the way to protect ourselves from the influence of the, the age of Kali, the Mayic energy, which is very strong in this age. And it's the way to elevate our consciousness to transcendence. So it is recommended to be constantly hearing from some spiritual source. So you may say, well, that may not always be possible, but by qualitatively hearing, we develop a stronger sense of recall. And by doing that, we can start to remember without hearing directly. In other words, we can remember within ourselves. We can remember Krishna. We can remember the holy name. We can remember what we have read. If we practice the process of hearing and understanding. So to make progress in this age, one of the easiest direct and high, most highly recommended is to continually hear the knowledge coming from the purified sources. Srila Prabhupada's books, those devotees who are fixed in the execution of their devotional life, and um, yeah, hearing also hearing directly the uh, tape lectures that are given. Uh, hearing has a better has a more powerful effect than reading. Reading is also hearing. The advantage of reading is that we can go back over if we don't understand something and reread it. But the actual process is shruti. Shruti means hearing. And that means that if you're hearing submissively, then there's, there's three, three understandings or three characteristics that one needs in order to hear. One, faith in the knowledge being transmitted. Two, humility, in other words, allowing that knowledge to become assimilated, not blocking it with, with the process of, of false ego. I'll explain that later. And the third is that whenever the mind wanders to somewhere else, one has to be aware of that wandering and bring it back to the sound vibration, to the hearing. So if you really want to fine tune your intelligence and become fixed in transcendental knowledge, it's highly recommended to hear the audible sound vibration given by the great devotees of the Lord. If we do that as much as possible, both the holy name, Krishna's pastimes, and the philosophy of Vedic knowledge, along with the practical understanding of how to execute devotional service, we have many categories that we can hear that will benefit our devotional life. But we have to do it continuously. There should no be no break. Should be hearing 24 hours a day. <laughs> then you'll understand more about what is this whole process of devotional service. Because if we're not hearing regularly, the mind will take us somewhere, and many times it takes us places we shouldn't be going. <laughs> either to something completely useless or something that is dangerous, either one. Okay, so we'll stop here and see if there's any comments or questions on this particular
topic. Thank you so much, Marge, for a nice, thoughtful class with good points for us to think about, especially about hearing. I would like to ask devotees if you have any questions or comments, please do ask. Uh, Vivek Prabhu, please go ahead. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, I have two questions. Uh, first question is, uh, like, uh, my understanding, and it's also written in Kanto 1, that the essence of all Veda is Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah. So do we really need to worry at all? Like, I just, not from my perspective, but like, What's the value of these Veda then? Because Bhagavad yeah. is like Amal Puran for us. So yeah, everything everything's been distilled in the Bhagavatam. So basically, if you read Srila Prabhupada's purpose, he said, all you need in this age is Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. That's enough. In other places, he he adds two more scriptures. He says, um, Chaitanya Charita, Tamita, and Nectar of Devotion. So in one purport, he writes four books, that's all. But then he, he distills that down to two, nectar, uh, I mean, Bhagavata and Bhagavad Gita. Because in order to get a working knowledge, of Bhagavad, in other words, to understand Bhagavata, Bhagavad Gita is preliminary and sets the stage for understanding Bhagavad. Krishna describes what are the principles of knowledge and what are the categories of knowledge in the Bhagavad Gita. And then Bhagavatam takes you into the activities, starting mostly with the third canto of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In the first canto, it's a lot of history and there's a lot of knowledge there. In the second canto, there is uh, a lot of emphasis on creation and the sub-creation. It's called uh, Sarga and Visarga. Uh, but then from third canto onward, it's, a lot of, it's mixed in with Srila Krishna's pastimes as Lord Narayan, Lord Vishnu, and ultimately Krishna in the 10th canto. So yeah, you're right. There's no, there's no need to go into these, into the Vedas itself. There's Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. And Nectar Devotion is very um, helpful because it teaches you the science of the execution of Bhakti. It tells you, explains very carefully in detail how bhakti works and how to execute bhakti. And of course, Chaitanya Charitamrita is living Bhagavatam because that's the life of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So that is also full. So these four books is all you need, but if you feel that four are too much, then you can. Uh, focus on back to the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. And this nectar of instruction, 11 verses, not mentioned by Prabhupada? Nectar of, uh, you mean nectar of instruction? Yeah. Upadesa Amrita? Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a very condensed version of the whole process of devotional service. I mean, that's really condensed. Yeah. Uh, Guru Maharaj, can I ask like second question if you don't mind? Please. Yeah. What are you reading? Sorry, Guru Maharaj. What are you reading now? I'm reading like Bhagavatam and like uh, also Bhagavad Gita is part of Bhakti Shastri. Okay. So, uh, Maharaj, like, 
in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 9, it's mentioned that where Krishna is saying, I am the father of universe and also he said that I am also Rig, Sam and Yajur Veda. But he does not mention about Atharu Veda here. Uh, yes. Any reason why he has not mentioned that? I was always wondering about that too. The Tarva Veda is a little, dis little different than the other three Vedas. You have to understand what are the focus of each of the Vedas before you can understand this particular statement. Um, Sama Veda is mostly hymns. Yajur Veda is mostly the performances of sacrifice. Rig Veda, the most, I think the most philosophical of all the Vedas is the Atharva Veda. But I'm not, I, I can't really give a clear answer in terms of what is the Atharva Veda. You have to do a little research, you can find what are the topics that are delineated in each of the four Vedas. Sure. Well, Thank why you. Krishna only includes three instead of four? <laughs> I was wondering too. <laughs> Maybe we just need to worry about Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita and others, as you said. So <laughs> no need to worry about that philosophy. Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I say. I agree with you. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. You can't, you can't exhaust Bhagavatam. It's not like it's, you know, you're going to finish it and have all the knowledge. You know, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati spoke on the first verse in Srimad Bhagavatam without covering the same points each day. He, he spoke on it for three months, for two hours every day for three months. So that's just a little indication of how vast the knowledge of Bhagavatam is. And Prabhupada has also said it takes, it, take, it takes about one month to understand each verse. If you were to study each verse for a month, you might be able to exhaust knowledge in that particular verse. That's why people never touched the Bhagavatam because they couldn't they couldn't break through it. Even today, it's not given much importance among spiritual circles. More emphasis is put on Bhagavad Gita and the uh, Upanishads. Even amongst uh, religious scholars. It's only when Prabhupada gave his purports that we you were able to break through. And getting Prabhupada's purports means you're getting the uh, understanding of the previous acharyas, such as Sridhar Swami, Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur, Srila Dibhada Swami, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. Uh, who else? There's, there's others. There's about six seven main acharyas that Prabhupada derived uh, inspiration from and knowledge from in order to present his purpose. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Uh, Mother Gita, you can ask your question, Mother. Oh, Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Prabhupada, all glories to you, Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, in Kali Yuga, the memory is very poor. And um, whatever we are hearing regularly, we are not able to retain. Um, does that mean that uh, we, we may not get the benefit of what we have heard? Well, you'll get some benefit. The hearing process itself is purifying. Just by hearing the transcendental sound, there is purification. But 
when you have memory, then that uh, that takes that purification to a higher level. In order to remember, the process is to repeat. If you simply read or hear, you'll get benefit. But if you repeat, you get more benefit. And if you continue to repeat, memory develops. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay. Thank you, Mother. Um, are there questions from other devotees? Um, comments, reflections, uh, realizations? Yes, Mother Sudevi. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Um, just wondering if you would speak a little bit on, you know, the Matsya Avatar. I, if I uh, remember correctly, the Vedas were stolen and he um, takes that avatar to rescue or something like that. Would you please yes. comment on that? Thank you. That's, that's in the very end of the ninth canto, the story of, uh, no, I'm sorry, the very end of the eighth canto, the story of Matsya avatar. There are two incarnations of Matsya, one who rescued the Vedas and one, I believe the other one is not mentioned. It's mentioned in two different millenniums. Um, he appeared to Satyavrat Muni as a small little fish and then he kept growing and then asking for more and more area to swim in. Finally, he became thousands and thousands of miles long. And then he instructed the sages to uh, tie the tie the a boat to his horn and he would keep and to put the Vedas all the Vedas in this boat and with the inundation well, there was an inundation and that way the in, everything would be lost except the Vedas so the Lord incarnated to save the Vedas uh, the whole story is in the very last chapter of the eighth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. If you read it, you'll get more information. If you want some information right now, you give me a minute and I'll give you a little bit more. I just need a minute there. Let's see. Uh -huh. It won't take me too long here. Should be coming up very soon. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. So, I'll give you a little delineation of this particular pastime. Let's see here. So Maharaj Pariksit wanted to hear about the incarnation. So Sukadev Goswami starts to narrate. At the end of the past millennium, he speaks that the three worlds were covered. The great demon named Hayagriva stole the Vedic knowledge while they were emanating from the mouth of Lord Brahma. Because everything was inundated by water to save the Vedas, it was necessary for the Lord to form, take the form of the fish. He also killed that demon. The Lord appeared as one fish incarnation to save the Vedas by killing Hayagriva, and he assumed another fish incarnation to show favor to King Satyabrat. 
So the one we hear, and the, is, this is the one about Satyavrat, described a little bit about the history of Satyavrat and how he came across this small fish. How Matsya started to grow and the king kept, kept giving him more and more area. Finally, when he became so big, the king said, who are you? And, and then the Lord revealed himself as Shihari. So the Lord told him that in seven days that the three worlds will all merge in the inundation. When everything is merged in water, I will send a boat to you. The Lord describes what happens when the king and the other residents are on the boat. So certain people were put on the boat. And the Lord steered the boat by his horn with the rope of Vasuki. This was during the time of the Chakshusha Manu. So that it was another Palai, another devastation. So he saved the Vedas. And then it describes how the inundation came. Matsya appeared in golden color. He had one horn and was eight million miles long. The king anchored the boat to the fish's horn, and that way they and they piled some pers great personalities into the boat along with the Vedas. Like that. So, so it describes that how he saved the Vedas in that way. So that same king, Singh Satyavrat, later took birth as Vaivashvata Manu, who became the second sun god. And that describes the second fish incarnation also. So this is just a little synopsis of that particular pastime. Thank you, Maharaj. Um, Sri Devi, Mataji, you can ask your question. And Sue Devi is all right with that. Sue Devi, yeah. Mataji, are you okay with that? Yes, Maharaj. Thank you very much. Okay, good. I like to hear what people think of what I say. <laughs> wonderful, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay. Thank you. You're wonderful too. Thank you. <laughs> Sri Devi, you can ask your question. Thank you, Ansia. You're welcome. <laughs> A humble obeisance, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, all glories to the assembled Vaishnavas. I'm thinking about this translation and I would like to have clarification on what is meant here by these sacrifices by which people's occupations could be purified. Are we talking here about Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha and is that still Karma Kanda? No, he was talking about the four, the occupations, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishyas, Sudra. Okay. And then if, uh, since we are in the Bhakti Mar, we are on the devotional path, we are not so worried about these other things. These four Purusharthas, do they come under Karma Kanda philosophy? Um, you're, and now you're switching topics to the four Puyuru Shartas because okay. it's not right. the, these are not the, these are not people's occupations. Okay. These are people's activities. Okay, we can discuss but that. Activities and occupations are different. The occupations are the four four varnas. The activities are the four things you mentioned, the, the, the Purushartas. So maybe I'm getting confused here. Sorry about that. Yeah, so here, occupations are the four varnas. So we are talking here about Daivi Varnashram. Well, that's devotional service. 
sacrifices mentioned in the Vedas by which people's occupations could be purified, what category does that come under? Well, there is, when you follow the rules and regulations of the particular varnas, that is called swadharma. Swadharma is your varnas. And when you perform those occupations, in other words, for a Brahmin, what are the, what are the color qualifications for a Brahma? Along with his personal qualifications, his patan, patan, yajan, yajan, dana, particular. Yes. Yeah. So to purify those occupations. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Uh, activities, yeah. The poor Purusharthas are, for, are, are, are a different category of, of explanations of what the living entity does in order to uh, arrange for their... In other words, even the, the Varnas and the Purusharthas can be connected together in a process so when you know your varna, and you, then you then you perform. So the brahmins are not so much interested in in artha. They're mostly interested in dharma, so they don't perform artha so much. The kshatriyas are more interested in artha and karma, also, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone has to have a little kama, but kama is emphasized more within the sudras and the vaishas. Okay. Kama is there for everyone. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the brahmins don't go after it. They get it automatically by their occupational, where the kshatriyas have to pursue Artha in order to get karma. I see. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Are there other questions from uh, devotees, comments, uh, reflections, or realizations? Did I miss somebody? Oh. Marge, I have a question. When you were speaking about um, hearing is more powerful than reading, and you mentioned three categories, faith and the knowledge being transmitted, humility and mind control, when the mind wanders to bring it back. You, you mentioned that you would shed some light on the, on the humility part. Can you share something about that, Marge, in relation to hearing is more powerful than hearing? Yeah, in other words, being transparent. Being transparent means not trying to uh, block what is being heard, but is allowing that knowledge to come in. And then I didn't mention the fourth one. There are four categories of perfect hearing, but the first three is what produces the fourth one. And the fourth category is that through humility, faith in the speaker, and destroying the faults of the mind, which is the third one. The fourth principle is, or the fourth category is, two things. A person who is hearing in that way will get realizations of the knowledge being spoken or questions based on what has been spoken. So just like now, I'm speaking. You either get questions or realizations or both. If you get realizations, then you don't really need to ask questions because the realizations are the answers. But if you don't understand something, you ask a question. Now, if you don't get either realizations or questions, that means you weren't, you weren't fully listening. Thank you, Maharaj. Does that help? Yes, Maharaj. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. 
And Marge, I have another question following uh, uh, within your lecture. You 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 uh, mentioned qualitative hearing and quantitative hearing. Sometimes I I see um, devotees of Peter General where they get on this uh, marathon of quantitative hearing and reading as opposed to qualitative hearing and reading. Can you speak about that, Marge? Because it... Well, quantity should lead to quality. It works that way. If you're hearing in a quantitative way, in other words, more and more and more, gradually you have a greater ability to remember, greater ability to speak, so quality, quantity, in most cases, will lead to quality. And quality is the goal. That's why if, if you really want to perfect your chanting, you can't just do 16 rounds and expect to perfect your chanting unless you're already on that platform. You just should do 64 rounds every once in a while, and that'll help you understand what the holy name is about <laughs> a little bit better. Same with reading. As Prabhupada said, if you want to preach, read. He said, he said in a very short way, preacher means reader. Anyone can preach if they just take time to read, read, read. And you become filled up. And then when you become filled up, you want to speak it. Thank you so much, Marge. Yeah. Thank it's you. easy to be good. It's easy to preach. All you have to do is read, read, read. Hear, hear, hear. Thank There's you. No other, no other qualification needed. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Yes, Mother Sudevi. A uh, very quick comment. Uh, <clears throat> what Prabhupada was saying, whenever there is a lecture going on, just sit and listen. Understanding is not important. So would you say that just by the hearing process, you become purified and then understanding will come later? Um, uh, understanding may come right away or may come later. Yeah, either one. But yeah, the hearing process is the Vedic method for, for, for knowledge. That's why Vedas were called Shruti. Books came later. Books are a feature of Kali Yuga, that's all, because people's memory was lost. That's why Veda Vyasa wrote down things. But before Kali Yuga, it was all hearing. Thank you, Maharaj. Maharaj, a question is, if hearing um, Shruti was powerful before Kali Yuga, and we know that in Kali Yuga, the memory just goes way down, how can we boost up our hearing? If, if it was, I'm, I'm trying to see if I'm making sense here. Um, so I'm sorry, Marge. Because if, if that was um, stronger in prior to Kali Yuga, uh, meaning the hearing, then how can we be sure that in Kali Yuga, the hearing is going to get better? I hope yeah. I make sense, Marge. Well, aside from the process of, of quantity, there are certain um, principles that increase the quality of hearing. And one is regulating of the four bodily activities, eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. So those four need to be regulated very carefully. And that way, once you regulate your bodily activities, then it's easier and more natural. Because Prabhupada makes this point, um, if you want to 
we want a reference to that, go to Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, first canto again, uh, third chapter, verse number 44. Vrinda is going to pull that verse up now, Maharaj. Yeah. And then we'll go into the purport. Verse, did he say it's first canto chapter, uh, sorry. First canto chapter three, verse 44, Maharaj? Yeah. 44. I think that's the last verse in the, in the chapter. Okay. You got it, Brenda? There it is. Okay. Go, go down, to the purport. Yeah, go all the way down towards the end of the purport. Here we, here we go. Okay, so. Simply hearing is not all. One must realize the text with proper, text with proper attention. The word nivista means mm. that super Sutta Goswami drank the juice of Bhagavatam through the ears. That is the real process of receiving Bhagavatam. So here we go. One should hear with rapt attention from the real person. Mm -hmm. And then he can at once realize the presence of Lord Krishna in every page. Then here we go. The secret of knowing Bhagavatam is mentioned here. No one can give rapt attention who is not pure, pure in mind. No one can be pure in mind who is not pure in action. And no one can be pure in action who is not pure in eating, sleeping, fearing, and mating. So here's the qualification. To get give rapid attention, you have to have a pure mind. And then you have to have pure activities and pure arrangements of one's the four bodily activities. But then, Prabhupada, gives a concession, but somehow or other, <laughs> somehow or other, if someone hears with rapt attention from the right person, at the very beginning, one can assuredly see Lord Krishna in the pages, in person in the pages of Bhagavatam. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Yeah, so this is Prabhupada's giving us the clear direction of what it takes to hear uh, with attention. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Mm. Are there other questions from other devotees? Um, comments, uh, realizations, reflections. Okay, if there isn't much, we can go into the one round chanting. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to be chanting a little faster today because I'm a little tired. That's fine. In order to keep my chanting continuous, I'll have to chant a little faster. So if you, you can chant at your own speed, but. Jai Sri Krishna. Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sivasadi Gaur, Bhakta Vinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari. Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for leading us into the chanting. And we thank the devotees for joining us for this morning's class. We wish you all to have a wonderful day. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Maharaj. Yeah, can I uh, can I make a announcement to please, my uh, disciples and followers out there? You know, please, Maharaj. Yeah, uh, many of you are familiar with one devotee who has uh, been undergoing a struggle with cancer for the last four years. His name is Janaki Nath Prabhu. He's a brahmachari in uh, Bhakti Vedanta Manor. Presently staying outside, fighting his cancer. So um, recently, I had a little communication with him, and it seems like he is um, feeling a little discouraged in his attempt. So I was just wondering if the devotees, if they could spend a little time, send him an email, give him a call. Many of the devotees know Janaki Nath as someone who is a favorite of everybody. His personality and his friendship and his, his uh, 
uh, ability to enter into the lives of devotees in such a personal way and become a real source of happiness for devotees. Everybody knows Johnny Kimo. So he needs, I feel he needs some association. So I was thinking if you could uh, take some time. Uh, I also sent an email to the conference with his address and his uh, phone number on it. And so uh, just take some time and give him a little boost, a little concern, a little love, and it will really make a big difference. He's been struggling for four years with this cancer and it's not, it's been very difficult for him. Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Mother Anasuya for having this wonderful program. It's something I look forward to each time. Thank you so much, Marge, for giving us your mercy and your darshan. And we ask that we humbly request that you continue to pray for us and guide us. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marge. And we thank the devotees for joining. Vancha Kaputu Briascha, Kripas in the Bay Vicha, Patita Nam Pavane, Vaishnava, Namo Namaha, Shila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai.